nearly being relegated four seasons ago via a dodgy goal line technology error to cold night Ws against Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Aston Villa have been on fine form over the past two seasons, finishing in the top four last season and bringing Champions League football back to Villa Park. With the deadly duo of Ollie Watkins and John Duran up front for them, we will be looking to continue Aston Villa's IRL form. But there is a twist with this video. This video will not end until Aston Villa have won the Premier League, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup and the Champions League. So without further ado guys, let's bring trophies and success back to Aston Villa. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here and comment any teams you want me to rebuild in future videos. And without further ado guys, let's get into Season 1 with Aston Villa. So we're here at Season 1 guys and we are going to go with the kick and rush tactical preset. Getting the ball further forward to the powerful strikers and as you can see, John Duran and Ollie Watkins are our strikers for this season. I'm really excited to use this duo. I just had to change the formation to a 4 one 2 one 2 because I had to have two strikers to get both of them in the team. I think John Duran is too good to sit on the bench. With Rodgers in the centre attacker mid who can also play left mid, I may go out and try and sign a new left sided midfielder and also a new right back because Matty Cash is just not good enough. We have made our first signing for this Aston Villa rebuild and it is a massive right back signing from Barcelona. Jules Koundé has joined Aston Villa for £75.5 million. He will be taking over from Matty Cash to play right back for us. 25 years of age, £75.5 million. I think it's a really, really good pick up 87 overall already i'm really excited to use him he looks very very good and he's a great addition to an already really really high potential squad we have made our last signing of season one is going to be a backup striker now he's probably not going to play that much in the first couple of seasons hickamore glue from besiktas for 1.4 million pounds he's only 17 years of age he's 62 overall he is one for the future i just didn't actually have a backup striker if i play two up top with duran and watkins obviously spending money on Kunde, we didn't really have much left in the budget so i went out and bought a cheaper option a young prospect who i'm sure will do well for aston villa in the years to come so this will be your team for season one with aston villa martinez in goal 87 overall really really happy with him might have to look at getting a new keeper in the next season or two as he is 31 but for now he is the number one and the main man in goal Kunde, the new signing at right back 85 overall 25 years of age really excited to use him we also got konza and pal torres both a rock at the back for us we've got ian matson who obviously signed this season from chelsea at left back 22 years of age looks really really good now this position was a tough one because obviously we've got kamara we've got john mcginn and we've got onana who can all play in that position i think for the first season i'm going to play kamara and maybe john mcginn but for now kamara gets that spot bailey is out on the right wing 90 pace 82 overall looks really really good really keen to use him i was going to go out and get a new left mid but i actually decided to keep jacob ramsey in for one season see how he gets on if he plays well we'll just keep him same with rogers rogers only 22 years of age in the center attack and mid role 75 overall but i think when you watch him in real life he's actually a really really good player so i'm gonna leave him in for the season and see how he does we've got the two main men up top we've got watkins and john duran what a partnership that is watkins is 85 overall we already know how good he is and john duran irl this season has been absolutely insane scoring some absolute bangers so that'll be your team for season one obviously we've got a stacked bench once again which i'm really happy with with this aston villa rebuild it's a bit more of an unrealistic one also we just signed kunde i want to just try and have a bit of fun with this one with a well-established team already instead of trying to rebuild someone that's like really bad or not that good in the game so we're gonna have some fun with it like i said in the intro we do have one challenge the video won't end until we win every domestic trophy and also the champions league so we need to win the premier league fa cup carabao cup and the champions league trophy so let's start that journey now in season one with aston villa Okay then guys, we're at the end of season one and Aston Villa have finished eighth in the Premier League. Not the start we were wanting, to be honest with you. 38 games played, 18 wins, 10 draws and 10 losses. We did score 70 goals and conceded 54. We ended on 64 points. Now, if you look at the actual league table, all the way up to fourth, there was only a two point difference. So realistically, we only were one win away from getting in the top four. Liverpool winning the league, Arsenal, Chelsea and West Ham, surprisingly, make the top four. Southampton, Wolves and Ipswich all got relegated to the championship. Moving on to the domestic cups, FA Cup, we beat Barnsley 2-1 in the first third round of the FA Cup. We then beat West Brom 3-1 away from home. Really good result there. We beat Chelsea on penalties 4-3 after a 2-2 draw in round six, which is the quarterfinals to make it into the semi-finals. And we went on to beat West Ham 2-0 and face Liverpool in the FA Cup final. 
Oh, and unfortunately, guys, we did fall short to Liverpool, who actually won the league. So that's a cup double for them. Losing out 1-0, unfortunately. Carabao Cup time, round three, we beat Brighton 3-1 away from home. And then unfortunately, guys, round four, we got knocked out by Blackpool, surprisingly, on penalties after a 1-1 draw. And then we get to the Champions League, guys, one of the big ones. Aston Villa finished 12th in the league phase, eight games played, four wins, two draws, two losses. Not too bad, to be fair. I'll take that. As you can see, obviously, the other teams absolutely smashing it in the league phase. We beat Celtic 3-1 in the second leg to make it a 5-3 aggregate victory against Celtic to put us into the round of 16 of the Champions League. We then absolutely annihilate. PSV 5-3 on aggregate to put us into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Now it's getting quite interesting. We only went and beat Real Madrid 3-1 on aggregate. 2-1 at home. 1-0 away. Look at that. We're into the semi-finals of the Champions League in the first season. And then unfortunately guys, we got absolutely battered by Napoli. 3-0 at home. 5-2 on aggregate. That makes the final of Barcelona against Napoli. Which Barcelona actually did go on to win 5-3 on penalties against Napoli to lift the Champions League trophy. Roma beat Galatasaray that's why 1-0 to win the Europa League. And Panathinaikos beat Lens 1-0 in the Europa Conference League. So a top eight finish for Aston Villa in the first season. That concludes season one. Really unlucky in the Champions League. Got to the semi-finals. Lost out in the final of the FA Cup. But we have started quite positively in the cup competitions. Premier League, we're only two points off top four. So I can't really complain too much. But nevertheless, we're going to go into season two now. And try and get ourselves back into that top four. And hopefully go on another cup run. And get our first piece of silverware. So without further ado. Let's dive into season two. Why well, would you look at that, guys? Season two has started, and we've got 182 million pounds in the bank. Absolutely insane transfer budget. I am just going to go on an absolute haul. Like I said in the intro to season one, this rebuild is not going to be very realistic. So don't come at me, guys, because I'm just going to have a bit of fun with this one. Obviously, rebuilds are really, really fun and enjoyable when you're building up a team that's not very good or have dropped off a lot but once in a while it's nice just to pick a bigger team just to go and spend a load of money and win every trophy you can every season or every other season so 182 million pounds to spend we're going to go and spend that now and hopefully build on this team so we can try and get ourselves our first trophy of this rebuild before we do get into signing new players to Aston Villa in season two I decided to go out and sell a load of the deadwood that just wasn't going to play for us as we're going to rebuild and bring in a lot of high quality players when Dia, Carlos, Ross Barkley, Digne, Moreno, Dendonka have all gone. I mean, we've raised quite a lot of money for them, so I can't really complain. And we've loaned out a couple of youngsters that aren't going to play for us at the moment. So we've raised a lot of money. We've got about 240 million now to spend. I'm just going to go out and absolutely spend it all and bring in some top world-class players to this Aston Villa side. The first signing of the season to spend is going to be a new left-hand sided player. Kareem Adeyemi joins from Borussia Dortmund for £40.3 million. Really, really like the look of Adeyemi. He's so quick and he will be coming in to play a left midfield for us. 23 years of age, £40.3 million. 96 pace. Absolutely insane. That is the first signing of season two. I've made an absolutely insane signing here, guys. Xavi Simmons has joined Aston Villa from PSG for £90 million. It is a big signing. It is going to be a new centre attacking midfielder. I feel like Rodgers is good as a rotational option. Probably not as a star. I feel like we needed to bring in some more quality and, and Javi Simmons is that player. 90 million pounds from PSG, 86 overall, 22 years of age and he looks insane. He will be playing center attack mid for us. Next signing for Aston Villa in season two is going to be a new center back. Obviously I have sold a couple of the deadwood that I wasn't going to play so I needed to bring in someone that can come in to play and be an option for us at center back. It is none other than Mickey van der Ven from Tottenham for 55.2 million pounds. 24 years of age, 84 rate a 90 pace for a centre back absolutely insane really really like the look of him obviously Mings 32 he's now out the door so I decided to go in and sign Van der Ven for the centre back role so this is how your season 2 lineup is going to be looking really really big improvements to the squad obviously Van der Ven comes in Xavi Simmons comes in and Adiemi comes in at left mid obviously the team overall is getting really really good Matson's already up to an 80 rated Kamara's up to an 84 Konza's to 82 Kunde 87 Bailey 83 Duran 78 and Watkins is 85 really happy with these two up top obviously we have a lot of quality on the bench with the new signings coming in and replacing them but hopefully in season two we can try and win our first trophy gonna aim to look at getting one of the FA Cup or the Carabao Cups under our belts without further ado let's get in to season two we're at the end of season seven and as you can see Aston Villa have finished third a much improved season in the terms of the Premier League table 73 points only one point behind Man United in second 
you know, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. I think this squad is really good. A couple more players to improve on the squad. And I think we've got a really good chance of winning the league next season. Sheffield United, Burnley and Forest have all been relegated to the championship. We started off our FA Cup run with a 2-1 win against Norwich at home. We then beat Stevenage in round four, 3 no at home. We went on to beat Spurs 4-3 in round five. That's a really, really good result against Tottenham. We beat Forest 3-2 away from home in the quarterfinals. And unfortunately, guys, West Ham beat us 4-2 in the semi-finals and Man City did beat West Ham 3-2 to win the FA Cup. Carabao Cup now beat Leeds 1-0. Then we beat Man United in the fourth round which is really nice to see. And again West Ham have knocked us out of the cup. They knocked us out of the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. What the hell is going on? And then West Ham have knocked us out of the Carabao Cup. They knocked us out of the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup this season. And then they went on to win the whole thing so we got knocked out by the, the people that so we got knocked out by the team that ended up winning the competition so I can't really complain. Going over the stats for the end of season Season two, apologies, I did forget to include the season stats for season one. And that is my bad. I completely forgot. So Ollie Watkins, 40 games, 26 goals, five assists. He is 30 years old now in his prime years. I think he's got at least another season or two in him for us. Xavi Simmons in his debut season in the Premier League, 23 goals and 10 assists. John Duran, 17 goals, five assists. Really like the look of John Duran. 22 years of age, already an 80 overall. I think he's going to be a really, really good player. And he's probably going to be as good as Ollie Watkins is in seasons to come. Adiemi, first season for him, six goals and three assists. Bailey doing quite well on the right hand side, five goals and 12 assists. And then just a load of other uh, squad players just getting goals here and there, one or two. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that season. We came third in the league, unfortunately, got knocked out in the semi finals of the FA Cup and then the Carabao Cup. We just, what, I think it's the quarterfinals we got knocked out in, which is unfortunate. But we're still chasing that first trophy for Aston Villa. I think next season we're going to go out and sign a load more players to try and bolster the squad to improve so we can finally win our first trophy. Like I said, the video doesn't end until we win the Premier League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup and the Champions League. So without further ado, let's dive in to Season 3. First signing of Season 3 is going to be a new centre-back to go alongside Mickey van der Ven. It is Antonio Silva from Juventus for £46.5 million. Pounds. 82 overall, 20 years of age, is going to replace Conta to play alongside van der Ven. I feel like we need to improve on Konza. So Antonio Silva does come in to play centre-back. New left-back signing here. Alfonso Davies has joined from Bayern Munich. £84.7 million. Pounds. We didn't have any more left-backs at the club. So I decided to go out and buy a new left-back. Matson can be the backup option for Alfonso Davies. 88 overall. He looks absolutely insane. £84.5 million pounds spent. 25 years old. He will be our new left-back for season three. The next signing is going to be a new right midfielder. And it's going to be Noni Madoeke who has signed from Chelsea. We have spent 30 25.6 million pounds on him he's going to replace bailey at right mid so then guys going into season three this is going to be your lineup for aston villa martinez kunde silva van der ven davies kamara madueke adeyemi xavi simmons and john duran and watkins i'm really really excited to use this team some absolutely insane players in this squad now obviously we're still chasing that first trophy but I've got a really good feeling that we're going to win at least one this season. So without further ado, guys, let's dive straight in to Season 3. So then, guys, we're here at the end of Season 3. And as you can see, Aston Villa have won the Premier League title. 28 wins, 8 draws and 2 losses, scoring 87 goals all season, 92 points. We absolutely smashed the league. And that unlocks the first trophy of this Aston Villa rebuild. So we can tick off the Premier League trophy as we have won it in Season 3. And now we're only chasing the Carabao Cup, FA Cup and Champions League. Bournemouth, Wolves and Norwich got relegated in Season 3. They are going down to the Championship. We beat Leighton Orient 3-0 at home in the third round of the FA Cup to start our FA Cup campaign. We then beat Forest. One, we have literally played Forest like every year, I'm pretty sure, in the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup. Beat them 3-2 away from home in Round 4. We smashed Leeds at home 3-0 in the fifth round. Unfortunately, guys, Liverpool knocked us out in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. But no FA Cup for us this season. We beat Cardiff City away in the third round of the Carabao Cup. We beat Chelsea 1-0 at home, which is a really good result against one of the better teams in this tournament. We beat Southampton 2-1 at home to put us into the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. And we beat Leeds United 4-1 on aggregate to put us into the final against Liverpool. And we've done it, guys. We won 4-3 against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final, which means we've done the Cup double. We've won the league and the Carabao Cup in Season 3. So that now ticks off the Carabao Cup in this rebuild. We only are left with the FA Cup and the Champions League to win for Aston Villa. Really good season so far. 
Aston Villa finished fifth in the league phase of the Champions League with five wins and three losses. That's actually a really, really good position for Aston Villa. That's the highest we finished in the Champions League so far this rebuild. Into the round of 16 we went and Wolfsburg were our opponents. We won on penalties 2-1. Really interesting to see there. Wolfsburg putting up a good fight against Aston Villa. Quarter final time and unfortunately guys we lost to Athletic Bilbao 5-3 on aggregate. They actually ended up being in the final but lost 2-1 to Porto so we actually lost to a good team. So no Champions League for us this season unfortunately. Sevilla beat Napoli 2-1 in the Europa League. Sevilla actually win the Europa League quite a lot in real life so it's nice to see them win in this rebuild. And Liverpool have won the Conference League. I'm surprised that they're even in that competition but Liverpool have beaten Marseille 2-0 in the Conference League final. And we go to the stats for the end of the season. Ollie Watkins scored 39 goals and 10 assists in this season. 62 games played. I mean, look at that return. 24 league goals in the Prem. John Duran, 60 games, 22 goals to assist. Really, really like John Duran. Look, he's already up to an 83. I think he's going to be the main man for us once Ollie Watkins does retire. Age 31, he's still got another season with us at least. Xavi Simmons up to an 88 overall. 17 goals, 22 assists. I knew he would be a really, really good player to sign. He's always been one of those career mode youngsters that everyone signs. And I knew his qualities, so I'm glad we signed him. Absolutely insane player. Adiemi with 10 goals, 8 assists. 84 overall now doing really really well Bailey still getting the goals 9 goals 7 assists Alfonso Davies with 7 goals and 8 assists from left back Madueke's first season with Villa saw him get 7 goals and only 2 assists not a bad return but it's not really great in 42 games and then the rest of the players in the squad are just kind of players that don't really play for us in terms of attacking threat but overall what an absolutely insane season for Aston Villa we won the Premier League title and we won the Carabao Cup that means we have ticked off 2 of the 4 trophies we need but now we're only hunting the FA Cup and the Champions League trophy. So without further ado, let's try and get those trophies in season four. Season four, and we have made an absolutely insane signing. Rodrigo has joined Aston Villa from Real Madrid. The Brazilian right winger comes in to replace Madueke. He had one season with us. And he's going to go drop to the bench because they just didn't perform. You've seen his stats at the end of the season. Bailey was still getting more goals and assists than him and he wasn't even a starter. Rodrigo has come in from Madrid. £136 million spent. An absolutely insane player. 91 overall. I can't wait to use him. 26 years of age. Five-year contract. One of the best players in the game. And I really think he is going to help us get that Champions League trophy. So then guys, for season four, we only made the one signing, which was Rodrigo at right midfield. This is going to be your lineup for season four. An unchanged team apart from Rodrigo, Martinez in goal, Kunde, Silva, Van de Ven and Alfonso Davies are going to be at the back. Kamara, Adiemi, Rodrigo and Simmons are the midfield with Duran and Watkins up top. The two up top have been absolutely insane for us, smashing in the goals all season long, but they've got another job to do. We've still got the FA Cup and the Champions League to try and win with this Villa team. We're in season four now. I'm hoping we could at least get the FA Cup ticked off in this season, potentially the Champions League, but maybe that might be next season. We'll never know until we play season four so this is the team looks amazing let's get into season four we've come to the end of season four and as you can see Aston Villa have finished sixth really poor season compared to last season when we won the league Man City have absolutely blown everyone else away like we did last year but 68 points we're in sixth place so no Champions League football for Aston Villa next season which is really annoying because we need to win it Forest, Leicester and Southampton have all been relegated to the championship third round of the FA Cup and we got knocked out by Watford on penalties wow that is really 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 annoying. The other trophy that we need to win still, and we got knocked out in the third round. Man City ended up winning the FA Cup. They beat Chelsea, so they've won two trophies this season. In the Carabao Cup, we got knocked out by Liverpool 2 1. Chelsea ended up winning the Carabao Cup. They beat Tottenham 1 0. Aston Villa finished 13th in the league phase. Wow, that is not good compared to last season where we were in the top eight. And we also got knocked out in the playoff phase by Sevilla 4 2. What an absolute terrible season for Aston Villa. We didn't win anything. We're out of the Champions League. No trophies. And we're still chasing that FA Cup and that Champions League title. Oli Watkins, 32 goals, 10 assists for the season. He is going down the ratings now, I've just noticed. So I might have to potentially drop him to the bench and bring someone else in. Xavi Simmons, age 25. Absolutely insane. 18 goals, 9 assists. John Duran, 15 goals, 4 assists. I mean, look at him now at 86 overall. He's really coming along well. Manuweke with 9 goals, 7 assists. And the rest of the team is just, you know, squad players getting the goals. So we've had a really poor season, which is unfortunate. But hopefully next season we can try and change that. We're going to head into season five now. We need to try and get ourselves back into the Champions League. And hopefully we can try and get our hands on that FA Cup. So let's dive in 
to season five. I made a massive signing, guys, for season five. Chouameni has come in from Real Madrid to Aston Villa to play in that holding midfield role. 118 million pounds for Chouameni, 90 overall. He's going to go straight into that holding midfield role. Absolutely insane player. Really good player in real life. I think he's just a really well-rounded player that's going to go straight into that holding role to replace Kamara. So then, guys, season five is here, and this is going to be your lineup. Martinez in goal. He is 35 now, and you, as you can see, he's down to an 87. This is going to be his last season with us. So hopefully he can still be all right for us. Kunde at right back, 89 overall. Silva, Van der Ven, Davies at the back. New signing, Truamini in the middle. Adeyemi on the left. Rodrigo on the right. Simmons in behind Duran and Watkins. Again, Watkins is also going down in the rating. So potential last season for him. I still think this team's good enough to win us some trophies. Obviously still wanting to get that FA Cup. And we also try and need to finish in the top four to get Champions League football once again for Aston Villa. But without further ado, let's get in to season five. We're at the end of season five. And as you can see, Aston Villa have come fourth in the Premier League. This season, the league table was so close. Liverpool won the league with 77 points, and we came fourth with 72. Spurs in third with 73, and Arsenal with 76 in second. So it could have literally been anyone to get the league title. We just missed out, unfortunately. But that does mean we have Champions League football next season. Ipswich, Everton, and Wolves all got relegated into the Championship this season. We're still on the hunt for this FA Cup, and as you can see, we beat Southampton in the third round of the Cup. We then beat Burnley 2-1, progress into the fifth round of the FA Cup or oh, we beat Hull City 4-1 after a, and we beat Hull City 4-1 on penalties after a one-all draw to reach the quarterfinals of the FA Cup and we've beaten Crystal Palace 3-1 away from home guys so that puts us into the semi-finals either against Arsenal, Brighton or Manchester City and we beat Man City 1-0 so we will play Arsenal in the final of the FA Cup and we beat them 2-1 which means we have finally crossed off the FA Cup trophy so now that brings us to a Premier League an FA Cup and a Carabao Cup the number of trophies that we have got in this rebuild we are still chasing that champions league trophy but unfortunately we weren't in the champions league this season we were actually in the europa league and as you can see we didn't even lose a game in the league phase so we are straight into the round of 16 and we beat stuttgart 3-1 on aggregate even though we lost 1-0 at home we won the first leg 3-0 so we go into the quarterfinals of the europa league and we cruise past lens to go into the semi-finals 4-0 on aggregate 2-0 away from home really nice to see we could potentially get roma napoli or sporting lisbon in the semis we got Roma, we absolutely cruised past them as well. 5-0 on aggregate, 2-0 away from home. And we played Napoli in the final of the Europa League. And Villa have done it. We have won a European trophy. Europa League is Aston Villa's. Obviously, that was not one of the key trophies to win at the start of this rebuild. But it is a nice to add a European trophy to Aston Villa's collection. That puts us into the Champions League next season. The only trophy we are left trying to hunt down. And look at the stats, guys. John Duran with 37 goals. He's 89 overall now. Absolutely insane progression. Xavi Simmons, 92 overall, 35 goals, 12 assists. Rodrigo getting more game time this season, 15 goals, 7 assists. Ollie Watkins, age 33, down to an 87. He's going to be out the door, I think, or on the bench the next season. 10 goals, 3 assists. Alfonso Davies getting a lot of action here with 8 goals and 12 assists from left back. 92 overall now, insane player growth. And the rest are just players, squad players getting goals here and there. But we have had a successful season here at Aston Villa in Season 5. Top 4 in the Premier League. FA Cup champs and also the Europa League champions. We did the cup double in season five and we've got one more goal to try and get our hands on that Champions League trophy. We're going to head into season six now in the hopes of trying to get the Champions League trophy. Without further ado, let's dive into season six. First signing of season six is going to be a brand new goalkeeper. Emmy Martinez is about 36 now. He's shot down from like a 90 rated all the way down to an 86, 85. So I'm going to sell him. So we decided to bring in Retez from Bayern Munich for 78.1 million pounds and he will be our new goalkeeper 88 overall 24 years of age as you can see martinez is 36 now and he is just crashing down the ratings i'm going to cash in while i can and take the money and get in a new goalkeeper who is much younger and actually higher rated so retez does come in for the goalkeeper spot we've made an insane signing guys killing mbappe has joined aston villa now i know people are probably going to slay me for this one but i'm just having a bit of fun with this rebuild we're making unrealistic transfers like i mentioned at the start of the video and we need that Champions League trophy so I think Kylian Mbappe is going to be the main man to do that for us. He has come in from Real Madrid for £192 million. 
He will be playing up front with John Duran. Look at that strike partnership, 94 and 89 overall. Really happy that Mbappe has joined. I really think he's going to be the man with John Duran to win us that Champions League trophy. So there you have it, guys. This is going to be the team for season six and hopefully the team that will lead us to the Champions League trophy. Mbappe has come in. Ritez has come in in goal. And the team, look at this team. Look how many like 90 plus rated players there are. It's absolutely insane. We're having a bit of fun with this rebuild. Really unrealistic, I know. But I mean, look at this team. It's just so fun to play with but without further ado we got one more goal in mind and that's winning the champions league trophy we've won the europa league we've won the fa cup we won the caramel cup and we've won the premier league any of those would be an extra bonus but the main one now is the champions league without further ado let's see how we get on in season six we have come to the end of season six guys and as you can see aston villa have finished third once again it's a really close premier league title but chelsea just edged away on 79 points. We finished on 72, finishing third in the Premier League. Leicester, Bournemouth and Forest all got relegated to the Championship. You just see the same sort of teams just coming up and down all the time on this career mode. We won the Community Shield against Liverpool. Another trophy to tick off, if you want to call it a trophy. I know people say it's more like a pre-season tournament, but nevertheless, the Community Shield is ours. We beat Swansea in the third round of the FA Cup 3-1 at home. We then went on to beat Blackpool 3-1 as well. And unfortunately, guys, Spurs knocked us out in the fifth round of the FA Cup. So no FA Cup for us this season. We beat Burnley 3-0 in the Carabao Cup away from home in the third round. We then beat Sheffield Wednesday 5-4 on penalties after a 2-2 draw. Once again, we won on penalties, this time beating Spurs after a one all draw, 3-1 on penalties. And would you believe it? Once again, we have won on penalties. We beat Everton 5-4 on penalties after a 2-2 aggregate draw, which puts us in the final against Manchester City. There's no way. We've beat Man City in the Carabao Cup on penalties. We just went through three rounds in a row and then the final on penalties. You can't make that up. But that means we've ticked off another Carabao Cup in this Aston Villa rebuild. That's two now for Aston Villa. Really nice to see. And that's a Premier League FA Cup, two Carabao Cups and a Europa League to our name. The all important one is here in the Champions League and Villa have smashed it. They've come second in the league phase, which puts us straight into the round of 16. We ended up beating Atletico Bilbao 3-2 on aggregate. That was the team that knocked us out in the semi-finals the last time we were in the Champions League. So it's nice to get a bit revenge there and put us into the quarterfinals we have won 3-1 in the second leg but 3-6-3 three, three on aggregate in the quarterfinals guys we have absolutely smashed it we're heading into the semi-finals for the second time of this rebuild and we have done it guys we have beat liverpool 4-2 on aggregate to send us to the champions league final we will be playing psg after they beat dortmund 2-1 on penalties after a 2-2 aggregate draw there you have it guys we will finally be in a champions league final with aston villa the last trophy we need to complete this rebuild and we'll be playing this game to hopefully get that Champions League trophy under our name. Monaco beat Feyenoord 2-1 to win the Europa League and Man City actually won the Conference League against Panathinaikos so surprised City are actually in that competition same as Liverpool won it a couple of seasons ago. Here are your stats for the end of the season here and John Duran once again being the top goal scorer 31 goals 3 assists 92 overall he's an absolute beast. Gary Simmons as well 30 goals 16 assists really really happy with the way he's progressed and in Mbappe, he came in to help us out and he's got 27 goals and 16 assists. Once again, Alfonso Davies with a lot of goals and assists from left back. Then Adiemi, Rodrigo, Chuameni, Kunde getting involved in some of the goals. But overall, what a season for Aston Villa. Top four in the Premier League. Unfortunately, couldn't win the league again, but we've already done that one. Won the Carabao Cup, the Community Shield, and now we've got a chance at winning the Champions League trophy. So then guys, this will be your Champions League final team to hopefully try and win that all-important Champions League trophy. And I mean, what a team this is. Test in goal, Kunde, Silva, Van de Ven and Davies. They've been our backline for a good couple of seasons now. Absolutely solid. Chouameni in the midfield with Rodrigo and Adiemi on the wings. Javi Simmons in behind. Mbappe and John Duran. What a strike partnership that is. And without further ado, guys, we are going into the Champions League final against PSG. The last trophy we need to complete this rebuild. Let's see how we get on. Comes Alfonso Davies now down this left-hand side. He's got the pace of the defence. He's going to cut this one back to Adiemi. Plays it to Kunde into Mbappe now. Mbappe with the turn. Oh, that's a lovely from Mbappe. Oh, it's 1-0. Aston Villa have the first goal of this final. And it's none other than Kylian Mbappe. It's a really nice work goal. Started from the left-back, Alfonso Davies. Down the line, cut inside to Adiemi. Adiemi squared it to Kunde. 
Kunde played a lovely ball into the middle of Mbappe. And Mbappe has dribbled past the defence like they weren't even there. And he's smashed it into the back of the net past Donnarumma to put Aston Villa 1-0 up in this final. Here come PSG now. Great tackle from Van der Ven. Got a lot of options here. Can he slide in? John Duran. John Duran. He cuts inside. John Duran with a shot. Oh, it's saved by the keeper. Out for a corner. Xavi Simmons over the ball now. Can we get a good delivery into the box now? It's a great ball in. Into the middle. Van der Ven. It's over the crossbar. Oh, Rodrigo, that's a really bad tackle. I think this might be a red card, you know. The way the refs paused the game, even though there was an advantage, and it is a red card. Wow. Rodrigo has been sent off in the Champions League final. What an idiot. Oh, what are we doing there? You see on the replay, I tried to get the ball, and he's... Oh, is that a red card? I think it probably is. Germany can't get the ball back. Oh, he's done it now, though. Brilliant tackling. From Germany. Can he slide in Mbappe? That is an absolutely insane ball. It's Kylian Mbappe to make it 2 0. And he does. Kylian Mbappe scores his second goal of this Champions League final. And what a goal it was. Germany winning the ball back in the midfield. And we've charged up the pitch. And Mbappe has slotted it into the back of the net. And it's 2 0 to Aston Villa. Trying to wait for someone to make a move. Kunde now. Can he find Mbappe over the top? Mbappe's on a hat-trick. What a touch that is from Kylian Mbappe. Oh, it's 3-0. Kylian Mbappe with the goal. Kunde with the assist. Mbappe gets his hat-trick in the Champions League final. What a goal that was. Kunde with a lovely ball over the top. And that will surely seal the Champions League for Aston Villa. Mbappe with his hat-trick. And that is it. We have won the Champions League of Aston Villa. 3-0 winners against PSG. With a man sent off. Rodrigo getting sent off in the first half. With a terrible tackle. But Kylian Mbappe gets the hat-trick to seal the last trophy of this rebuild that we needed. So Aston Villa have only gone and won the Premier League. The FA Cup. Two Carabao Cups. The Community Shield. The Europa League. And now we have finally lifted that Champions League trophy. I had so much fun with this rebuild. I did a little, something a little bit different where it's very unrealistic, the transfers. But, you know, sometimes it's nice to mix it up and have a bit more fun. And what a rebuild this was. Villa's success in real life with the Champions League at the moment. They are flying. And we've recreated this. And we've won the Champions League as Van der Ven will be the one to lift the trophy. And Aston Villa are your Champions League winners in Season 6. Really, really happy with this rebuild. Really enjoyed it. Some of the best players in the game were at Villa. And we had some fun for sure. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment any teams you want me to rebuild. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.